Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of a passionate beginning. This is a card of someone um, being very attracted to you, feeling a spark, and, you know, wanting to pursue you to have some sort of a new start with you here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Three of Swords, and this is Air Energy, the Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Tower, Mars Energy. So it looks like there, there could have been some sort of a fallout that has happened here. With the Tower and the Three of Swords, um, something could have been brought to the light and a connection or relationship could have fallen apart because of what was found out about. And it looks like it hurts. With the Three of Swords, that's a heartbreak. And the Tower is showing that a connection may have actually came to an end. Um, you could have found that this connection wasn't really built on a solid foundation as you had thought it was. And it does look like something has abruptly ended here but with the star card there's still a feeling of hope um this can be a hope to repair a situation to restore a connection um but this could also be you know you not losing your faith in love in general there's someone here who's still attracted to you someone who wants you someone who's going to pursue you they're seeing you as standing out they're seeing you as one of a kind um they're seeing you as um the one they want to rush towards here so let's clarify these cards for a go Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there's, again, it's like someone wants to work on something with you. They want to fix things. They're dedicated to uh, showing you that they care, showing you that they are wanting to commit to you here. Yeah. So we do have passionate energy with the Ace of Wands, but with this card, it's like it's added efforts. You know, this is someone who is grounding their passion. There's actually a willingness to have this long term. So there could be this desire to repair what was lost. You know, if there was this tower moment, someone actually wants to fix things and there's genuine intentions here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the temperance, Sagittarius energy, the world, fixed sign energy and the ace of swords, air energy. So you could be getting closure on the situation. Someone does want to uh, repair the situation they want to make peace with you and they do feel like they owe you some sort of an explanation with the ace of swords you will get communication that leads to a breakthrough and i'm seeing ultimately it's leading to some sort of closure closure of a painful chapter and it's it's aiding in your healing journey so this ace of wands could be a new person it could be someone coming in after you've already experienced some sort of setback in love or some sort of painful experience but you will get closure that helps you to move forward and embrace new love but this ace of wands could also be this person who you had the tower with coming in here and giving you clarity and um, making peace with you and the closure can be closing out this difficult, painful chapter so that you guys can work on repairing and having a new chapter. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, we 
have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So definitely there's something here that was painful, something that hurts. You may have, have, you may have a lot of unanswered questions around that. You will get some sort of answers, clarity, closure, resolution in that situation. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Go for it. we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so you could have a one-on-one -on -one with someone where you get all the answers you need um some sort of intimate moment where you have clarity and you achieve a breakthrough okay so i'm going to put another card for you Okay, so we have always joyful. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. There's some sort of light that's coming after a dark period, like the light at the end of the tunnel, something that's helping restore your faith in love and the goodness of people. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. have surrender your need to always be right give others the gift of letting them be right be yielding not rigid this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship so some sort of conflicts or difficulties being resolved here and there may be a need to kind of see where the other person is coming from because it looks like they're giving you some sort of clarity on the situation okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo